everybody, it's Rosemary Jane, and I have another Tech Talk tidbit, but this time I'm not sharing my computer screen. I'm going to do my best to show my mobile phone screens. So I have an iPhone, and I also have an Android, and I'm going to show you briefly on both phones um, how these work. So um, for the first one, I'm going to show the parent perspective in being logged into Schoology. So download the mobile app from your app store. It's free on both um, Android and Apple, so Google Play or the iOS store. And so you'll, when this, you get to the landing page for Schoology to log in, parents, you go to the second option, uh, login through Schoology.com. Parents log in through Schoology.com. So in here, you just enter your parent email address and then your password. All right. And so that is taking me in to my parent account on Schoology. A couple quick things on Android. Um, and I don't know about every version, but on my Android, this version, um, just want to show you that, excuse me, just want to show you that when I land in the lo uh, landing page, I'm on home, and this is my parent account. And so then I hit this little arrow over here in the upper left of your phone, and that opens my menu. This is how I get to my students, okay? So you can see it says my children. So I'll select my children. Now, I mentioned in our training that you can toggle back and forth between kids. That's true. I'm on one of my students here and I can see all of her course updates. Teachers, keep in mind that it's gonna be helpful for parents and students if you post a course update. But right here, there's a button that says more, right there. And then so from here, I can go to my other child. So. Big thanks to Jackie for letting me co-parent with her. <laughs> um, that's her, ch her child. I can go from one child to the other. So again, I tapped on more. Then I'm gonna change from that child over to the other child right there. This, so this is how I'm toggling back and forth. Now, when I'm on the view of my children, um, I see all of their updates. So that's, I see those first, but then I can just click, click on the courses to scroll through and pick a course and select and view their content. All right. Let's look at it on an iPhone. So I'm signed in again, and the glare is a little worse on my iPhone. Sorry, I took that glass protector. But I still land on my um, my parent landing page, home. But on an iPhone, instead of a um, arrow, it is this three bar menu. It opens the same thing, opens this menu. Now I can read and receive messages to and from teachers, and even to my own child. I've seen some parents who message their kid um, in Schoology and send them something encouraging. Anyway, you could do that. Um, but then I can just go down here to my children. From there, it's the same as it was on my Android. I'm under my children. And so I can scroll through and first thing I see is those updates, folks. But if I click on more, again, right here, I'm gonna click on more. And then I can toggle between children. So I'm on Mary, but then I can go to Riley. I'm back on her updates, so I can just toggle between my students and keep up with their updates as needed. So back and forth, that's what I mean by toggling between your students. And then so it defaults me to those updates and I can cl click on their courses. If I see something and know I need to send a message to the child's teacher, I can just click on my messages and hit plus, and then I can start to compose a message. So that is the parent account. You can go in and control some of your settings. I would check if your and notifications are enabled and I would turn those on. Um, you're not gonna get notifications for any kind of advertisement. It'll just be notifications about your Schoology app. So just look at the notification settings in there to see that you have turned them on. Um, there's a lot of other helpful tips in there. You can look at grades and uh, things like that. But I think the most important part is to connect with the messages your teachers are sending and to directly message them using the message feature. Uh, it is It does appear a little bit different in Android. It's the envelope right up here, and I tap on that. Now, just so you're aware, on the Android, I do have to X that out to make the menu appear again. So again, I am tapping on the envelope on my Android and exiting it out. On my iPhone, um, the messages just appear in that menu. So the messages are at the top. Sorry that the iPhone's blurrier on, on this. All right, that's it. So use the mobile app parents, teachers, po post updates um, so that it's easier for parents to see what's going on right from the updates when they log in and